Greetings and salutations, and welcome back to Morrowind, where we are here in the Thieves' Guild in Vivek, still, speaking with Gentleman Jim Stacy, and running some tasks for him. Now last time, we ventured to the Dren Plantation to take care of the Ionis brothers, and fortunately, negotiations failed, and we had to kill them. However, during our time there, we gathered few interesting bits of information, namely about Orvis Dren, the kingpin of the Kornatong. In that, we discovered a note that outlined, perhaps, his plans to assassinate his own brother, the Duke Vedum Dren, if the Kornatong was not allowed to, you know, freely uh, conduct their affairs. So for now, as an agent, Having that information, we're going to keep that close to the vest because we're not sure how we can use that information yet as we know well that information is currency. In the meantime, we're going to talk to Jim to see what else he has for us to do. Hello, Jim. I like what I well, it's good to see you too, Jim. What is it, Mastermind? Are you here looking for jobs or are you ready for advancement? I'm pretty sure you have more jobs for me to do. You've made progress getting the Kamonatong off our backs, but we can't rest until Zoring Hardheart is dead. Well, it seems to be as I feared, the Thieves' Guild is becoming more of an assassination guild than simply uh, thieving. Zoring Hardheart is the head of the Fighters' Guild here in Vardenfell. We tried bribes, blackmail, and even diplomacy. Soaring has some personal stake in this, I don't know what, but even without the Kmonotong's backing, he's already planning an attack on all our guild halls. Go to the Fighters Guild here in Vivek, kill Soaring Hardheart, and report back to me. So it seems they've already exercised all other options before resorting to straight up murder. So we're probably not going to have much better luck, but we do have some insight as to why Zoring has some personal stake in this, because we did find an ash statue also at the Dren Plantation. So maybe Zoring is in league with Dagoth Ur as well. We'll just have to do some investigation work to find out. In the meantime, before I straight up murder Zoring, I think it might be wise to go talk with Perseus Mercius over in Aldrun. He has been a stand-up guy for us, a very reliable source. So maybe he has some insight uh, into the current situation. So let's head to Aldrun and speak with him first. I think you'll find my books very enlightening. No, sir. No. You still have to work on that sales pitch. Keep working. All seems easy. All CV. Pardon me. And glory to the nine divines. How may I help you, citizen? Uh, just visiting the shrine really quickly. Let's check our gear really quickly. We have plenty of arrows. We have our special Daedric arrow, which I've been saving for something special. I'm not sure what yet. And yep, we're looking pretty good. So let's head to Aldron via the Mage's Guild Travel Guide. Seems to be the quickest way. So, Soaring Hardheart. And it is still miserable weather outside. And let us levitate. to be monsoon season or something.
Hello. I don't know where to begin. It is such an honor to meet you. Don't you know Share it's... your thoughts, friend. I enjoy the company. I'm just trying to get by, ladies. Important hero like business well to attend to. Lakasha, greetings. Greetings to you. A pleasure to meet you. Yeah, well, it's good to see you too. One way ticket to Aldrin, please. Hello, Arenal. Good to see you. She doesn't talk much. I think she's a bit shy. Oh. Welcome, friend. The day is yours. What shall we talk about? Oh, I have no time to chat, Edwina, but it's good to see you too. I must say, I find you most interesting right now. Please, go ahead. The feeling is not mutual, sir. Hello. I'm very happy to make your acquaintance. Kindrala, it's good to see you too. How's your house? Ah, perhaps this will help you out to refurnish the place. There you go. Yes, she's the one who had that dreamer wrecking her, her house, and we cleared him out. So, to Perseus. Hello, Perseus. I see I stand in good company. What can I do for you? Now, recently we've told Perseus that we are a high-ranking member of the Thieves Guild. But I don't think he... Tr he I, think he, I think he trusts us enough, since we've done so many tasks for the Fighters Guild, and we've made sort of the correct choices in trying to be diplomatic. So, hopefully he'll talk to us about Soren Hardheart, which doesn't seem to be the case here. Things have gone bad since I was the master of the Fighters Guild. Sure, Soaring Hard Heart's a good fighter, no one disputes that, but I've heard he's been making deals with the wrong crowd. But I've said too much already. Maybe when you've proven yourself, we can talk again. Ah, so he does have more to say about Soaring Hard Heart. So I think he has some task for us, and that's what we need to do first. Right. Sometimes we get a contract from one of the locals, and sometimes they're a bit strange. Yulin Henham, a young buoyant armager, has hired us to provide some extra muscle to clean out a den of necromancers known as Vas. While she is a buoyant armager and a worthy warrior, I hear she is young, inexperienced, ambitious, and noble. Be careful with this one, Livus. I think he means that she's going to need a little protection. While she is a... oh, no, I need to click on that one. Here we go. Vas. Go to Vas and meet with the buoyant armature, Yulin Henham. Help her clear out the necromancers of Vas. Vas is far to the north, in the Sheogorad region. Here, I'll mark it on your map. The journey is a long one. Your best bet may be to take a ship to Dagon Fell from Talmora. Good luck to you. Okay, so let's check our map really quickly. Taken fell should be here, and we are looking for Vas. Center shrine. Vas, here we are. So pretty much due west from Dagon Fell. We know the area quite well at this point, and we definitely haven't cleared out Vas previously. So I think the best thing to do is probably going to be. Set a mark here so we can return right back to Perseus. And if we're going to take a ship to Dagon Fell, we got to go to Sadoth Mora. So let's go back to the Mage's Guild travel guide and take a trip. Let me just check my equipment one more time. Should probably get my equipment repaired before we go, so let's head to the smith. Ah, uh, an ash storm. Whew, it's windy. The wind is so strong, it's, it's pushing me back. Still, all these people are on the boat. 
that surprises me. Hopefully the smith is open for business. This is one of the reasons why I think that boiled Nutch leather helmet is going to come in so handy. Hello. I am looking for repairs. Eh, we have quite a few. As you can see, we are a bit flush with gold since our trip to Dren Plantation. We're 12,000 now. Alright, so... Ooh, now the wind is at our back, so we're... It's pushing us, and we're very fast. So, so sandy, I can't really see. We're looking for the Mage's Guild. Here we go. Whew. Good to be out of that storm. We've gone from thunder showers to sandstorms, or ash storms. All right, Erno. Hello. Please. I need a trip to Sadith Mora. Now it is night time. Welcome. Hello. If you wish to talk, it is really no trouble at all. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. While well, we're running by the shrine, we'll do a little devotion to the Nine Divines. If you care to talk, I would consider it a privilege. Ah. Thank you, sir. I have no if time at the moment. Talk, I would consider it a privilege. What time is it? It should be night time. 9 p.m. So, we're going to take a boat I all the way up to Dagon Fell, and we can rest along the way. And at least here it's nice and clear. Good night for stargazing. Now, let's practice our landing. Oof, not perfect. Pretty good, but not perfect. It's a very good night for stargazing indeed. Pardon me, madam. Well loved. Now, I do have the, um, there's a quest here involving this inn? What is it called? Gateway Ghost. This is the gateway inn we're standing in front of. Maybe that would help out uh, with the locals in their disposition towards us if we, you know, solve that mystery. But, uh, we have no time at the moment, so maybe in the future we'll do that. And that's a good look at the council chambers of the Telvani house. Hello, gals. Short trip, long trip. You oh, it's going to be a long one. All the way to Dagenfell. Let's see, we left at 9 p.m., and now it's 8 a.m., so. We've rested on that boat for 11 hours. Let's check our bearings here. We need to go pretty much due west. Alright. Onwards. It's pretty quiet here in Dagenfell today. So be it. West ways we go. Now, along the way, we'll probably get some target practice in. Our marksman skill has been very slow to increase, so we're still looking to become a master in that skill. And first up, we have... There we go. A shock. Oh, we do have some extra soul gems lying around, too. So, yeah, let's fill them as we go. soul into the petty soul gem. Perfect. And we do like their resin. Fortify health and speed. So we need to go pretty much due west. 
Now I think the terrain of this Sheogad area is going to try to conter, uh, curtail our little trip, but we'll just have to deal with that. Ooh, we got one. I was expecting to get a few shots at that next sound. But the skill is mighty. Ow, this one must be blighted. Be gone, blighted beast! Be gone! We got... Petty. Excellent. Oh man, this rain is just... relentless. We're already wet. I can't remember the last time we took a bath, so... Into the drink we go. Oh, mud crabs. Should have went to petty. So our, our petties are full and we have two lessers. Apologies, mud crabs. I do need the practice and your meat. Got one. Waste not, want not. All right, let's wait. See, let's check our bearings. Uh, we're getting there. Need to go more west and a little more south. Actually surprised we haven't been. Oh, there's one. I spoke too soon. There's two cliff racers. I was just gonna say, I was surprised we haven't been swarmed by cliff racers. Then maybe they don't like the rain. They like getting stuck in mushrooms, however. There we go. Let's see. Vibes. Hello, oh, hello. What are you doing wandering around? Oh, they open. Phew. That was fast. Phew. Void salts. We'll take it. I was not expecting a lesser danger of that caliber just to be wandering around Shagorad. Heaven Bias. I'm not really sure we've explored that before, but I'm in a bit of a rush, so let's move onwards. We've been to so many places here in Vardenfell, sometimes it's to keep track of which ones we've actually cleared out. Let's see, we need to go west. West, into the cliff racers. Hmm, I missed. There we go. Shallow water collops, my favorite kind. Oh, hello. Underwater archery. Oh, I missed. There we go. Oh, oh wax. Take a breather. All right, 
onwards to the west. Ooh, more collops. More collops and no slaughterfish. Take that any day, all day. Really? Alright. Well, I can collect your meat anyway. Oh, there's one. Thought I heard something swimming about. Alright. And there's a... Drood. Underwater archery! Ah, we're getting there. It's oh, just what do west of us. Get extinct, oh boy. Here we go. What do we have? Oh, getting swarmed. There we go. Ow. with the drug box today. More of those fish gals. I do see some more call-ups. Is that what we're going over there? No. Nope. Better than none. Let's see. Oh, almost there. What? What? You. No wax. I'm stingy today, you drew. Finally, some drug wax. Drowning. Let's see. Ah, there they are. I knew I was after some pearls. Extinct. Oh, I think they're getting bigger. At least give me some scales, thank you. Oh, 
Alright, so now I think I glimpsed a shipwreck off to the side there. Yes. Abandoned shipwreck. I'm pretty sure we already explored that. So let's try and find this necromantic lair. Yes, yes, I see you. Looks like an old Velothi tower. Now this is interesting. We have a joint venture, with the Fighters Guild and the Buoyant Armagers. That doesn't happen too often. My gut tells me that... Oh, bother. Interruptions. My gut tells me that our friend Yulin here, Yulin Henham, had gotten the assignment from her superiors at the Warrant Armagers, and is a little leery about doing it by herself, so I think it is she who has enlisted the service of the Fighters Guild and not the buoyant amateurs themselves. In any case, we're going to do our best to help her. But before we do that, we are going to... cover some magicka. Are you here from the Fighters Guild? Shall we fight together against the foul necromancers? Indeed I am. I will fight by your side. Your duties are to your lords and brethren, and always proceed with honor and valor. Keep a keen and watchful mind, and never succumb to the craven tricks of the weak. It is traitorous to fight with or thief from other members of your guild. If you break these rules, you must speak with at least a warder of the guild to redeem your standing. I don't understand why she is telling me these things. I serve the tribunal as a buoyant armature. You must bring the... We must bring justice to the foul necromancer Darus Adrum here in Vas. Oh, maybe because I'm a member of the temple, she has this rules dialogue. Okay, so our target is Darus Adrum. All right, now she's probably inexperienced, as told by Perseus. So really, she's our charge, and we need to protect her. So, here we go. Bas, an old Velothi tower. And I want to be sneaking, in general. I saw some movement over here. Yep. Let's see what kind of skill she has. Oh, she's going to summon her, her ancestral ghost. And she looks like she's using a staff. Not the weapon I would pick. Oh, hello. We have lots of company here. Ah, uh, I was too busy trying to check her out. And doing the usual business of taking care of our environment. Okay. I think we're clear. How are you doing? Now, I wish I could see her health. Although, I don't think it really matters, since I do not have a Heal Other spell. Hmm, which probably would have been useful if I had companions like this. Uh, or at times, maybe, if I was a... if I relied on pets. But these are skeletal champions, who are no joke, really. I'm not sneaking, am I? Okay, I'm just walking. So... The Necromancer's here are going to be strong. So we must be careful. Care 
careful and ready. It looks like we have a dead end here, so on our way down. Follow me, madam. Ah, bone ward. Take care of him fairly quickly. He might even have a soul gem for us. Ah. Well, seems to be only one way to go. We're pushing below further and further. Hello, rat. The distance. Just stay behind me, madam. Help out how you can. There you go. Not sure what she was doing over there, but she definitely seems inexperienced. Okay. So this might be our target up here. A necromancer named Doris. Attacked. Uh. Silly Bretons. I don't know <laughs> what you're doing, but she's certainly not helping out that much. That's okay. Dimension Sil Bennett. Well, don't know what he's doing here. Seems to be barred of some sort with a loot. And we're not getting attacked by these people. Hello? This conversation has gone on too long. Any conversation with you is too long. Uh, I'm not telling you that. Anything else? You hardly seem worth talking. <laughs> is your name Doris? Uh, I think you should go elsewhere. I don't want to talk with you. And why? Because I don't like you. Is that plain enough for you? Well, madam. Let's see. We can remedy that situation. Now we are quite flush with gold since our last trip to Dren Plantation, so let's spread it around a bit. Well, that's thoughtful, Livus. I'll take that into consideration. I am Jer. Jeburilili. Jeburilili. Wow, that's a tough one. Jeburilili. Moniel, spell sword and hireling of the Great House Talvani. Okay, so these are Talvani folk. Which is why they don't like us, because we are high ranking members in the Mage's Guild. Don't have time to waste on someone like you. Well, how about a bribe? I am Darrell Yiskiel, healer and hireling of the Great House Talvani. Hmm. She has a moon and star topic. The enchanted ring called Moon and Star, or one clan under Moon and Star, as the Ashlanders call it, was forged for the hero Nerevar by one of the Dwemer sorcerer priest Kagranak Smiths, and blessed by the Daedra Lord Azora. The ring gave Nerevar supernatural powers of persuasion and indisputable proof of identity, since any other who tried to wear the ring would be killed instantly. That's very interesting, but you have no information on this person, Darus, I'm looking for. Okay, she needs a recharge. There we go. No topic for Darus. Okay, onwards then. I'm not going to outright attack somebody. It doesn't attack me first. So, I saw another door. Oh. So I know a door here, so perhaps he's in here. Let's not take any chances with our charge here. Are we wearing our We are not aim at a star vision? Alright, feel not Illin. We will figure out where these necromancers are. And we've been spotted by Bone Lord. And looks like a, a couple of Daedra. 
this is gonna look bad. Fortunately, they're casting fire spells at us, so far less concerned with our charge. There you go, get your staff out, Adam. Because she's a Dunmer, so she's going to be resistant to their fire's magic. Perfect. Alright. Alright, we survived that. Let's see, we have an ebony mace. Wow, we're gonna have to take that. Rust up a bit, madam. We have a moment. Yes, I'm over encumbered. Uh, let's just put this on the ground for now. What do we have here? A Daedric War Axe. Wow. Now, here's a situation where I wish I could give her this ebony mace because she's clearly using a staff, so she is skillful with blunt weapons, I assume. So. Unfortunately, I can't give those to her somehow. And let's just take a look down here to be thorough. And we have a dead body surrounded by bones, probably being involved in some necromantic ritual. And we can't do anything for him, unfortunately. So onwards, that is where we came from. Alright, she's on high alert, as she should be. Oh, hello. And we have a bone loading. These champions are no joke, especially when they have big two-handed weapons. Just trying to stay in front of our charge here. She's good. She'd like to summon her ancestral ghost, but look, she didn't do that time. Ooh, we did get a common soul gem. And that puts us overweight. We will just munch on some hound meat. And we will give some to our lady friend here as well. This is just where we came from, correct? Yes. Entry level. Yes. Okay. Let's rest up here for a moment. I get the feeling that the big fight is coming up. Onwards. Okay, she's with me. Alright, let's go. Oh, hello. Oh, attacking me. And he summoned a Bullmore. That's my favorite. There you go, madam. Get some experience off this guy. Oh, whoa. <laughs> the Necromancer Darus Adrum is dead, Libus. Thank you for your assistance. The battle would have been difficult without you. I will stay here and take care of a few details. Thank you again. Okay. Whew. We are successful. So, now that the task is over with, uh, let's get to the looting. Let's see. He has an extravagant robe. Restore speed quality. An expensive sapphire silver ring. And let's see. What else does he have? Oh, lots of weapons. Silver dart. Silver staff. A lot of silver weapons. I will leave this crate for you, madam. However, I would like the alchemical ingredients. Since our host, graciously, does not need them anymore. And we're going to have to get to our belt of extract. We have a full kit of steel as well. You're more than welcome to have that, madam, and some more weapons. Yep. Too heavy for us. We will have that mace and Daedric War Axe, however. Let's see. Anything interesting here? 
corpse preparation, yep, standard. Vampires, that's worth 400. I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Dawn and Dusk. Ancestors and the number. Legions of the Dead, yeah. Not interested in such necromantic volumes. Here's Angasta Kvata Kvakis. An obscure text in the language of the Slode, purportedly written by the second era Western necromancer Angasta. So the Slode were, in history, very skillful necromancers that tried to conquer Please, the Altmer. I'm well, listening. Madam, I will leave you to your business here. Uh, I was glad to help. So let's go collect our two weapons and then report back to Perseus. Let's see. Yulin Henham was very grateful for my assistance in dealing with the necromancer named Darist Adrum. Alright. Certainly not going to leave that kind of value just lying around. Alright. Time to recall. Hello there. Oh, How oh, are hello. you? Hello. Right, I'm good. Thanks. Um, <laughs> is this thing called personal space? Perhaps you've heard of it. Ah, there we go. That's better. Perseus, greetings to you. Do you have any new information on the situation in Vas? You should speak to Ellen Henham. Actually, I have spoken to her, and we have cleared it out. Darius Adrum is no more. Ellen Henham gave a very positive report, Livus. Since this has helped our reputation with the buoyant armatures, I have decided to share the contract reward money with you. Take these 500 septums. Excellent, excellent. Thank you, Perseus. Now, perhaps we can talk about uh, Soaring Hard Heart? No, not yet. Well, alright. So, we are at our encumbrance here, and as of yet, not able to talk about Soaring Hard Heart with Perseus here. So, I'm going to run a few errands, and then we'll speak with Perseus again to see if uh, we have anything else for us to do. So until then, safe travels.